What's up everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Rocket Vlogs. Today, we're just flying some simple stuff. You don't always have to fly high and fast, it's fine. We're at Lucerne Dry Lake Bed, Rocketry Organization of California. And uh, we're flying the Fat Boy for the first time, and I have an I-180 for the King Kraken. So, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> All right. Everybody you good over there? Right yeah. over the here. We got a, I don't know why <laughs> I'm nervous about this. This is because it's a big rocket for motor deploy. But we got I-600 in there. It weighs like 12 pounds. It's so heavy. Yeah. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, this should be good. Boise, Idaho, okay, gets the long travel, is uh, smoking rockets that way on an I-600 red line. Out on pad E3. Continuity, sky's perfect. Ready, you ready to go? Yes, sir. All right, yes, sir. We're going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That was an I-600 in the big heavy rocket. Got shoot a little bit early, but it did have a Kirk Bird explosion, so that was nice. Good flight, thank you. Speaking of Kirk Bird, out on pad E4. Looks like we're clear of everybody here. Yeah, nice work on the, the Sky Angle parachute there, too. All right, E4, Kurtz rocket on an I-161. E4. It still looks fast. Yeah. Should have gone with seven seconds on the delay, maybe. But uh, not bad. It, it still looked like it came in fast. Hopefully the fins are still attached. I think it's good. It's not. What? Every time. Every time. Red Max fins, Fat Boy fins, they just like to do this. I thought an eight foot parachute was enough. What did it say? It was like a 11 FPS? Yeah, something like that. It still looked fast. Um, I had my dad's nine foot. I just didn't want to borrow it because I was afraid I'd ruin it. I should have done that because that was an eight foot rocket man shoot. Um, yeah, dry lake bed stuff. So, bigger shoot next time. At least this one's going to be easier to fix than the Red Max, but we're going to have a good couple rocket repair videos for you coming soon. Okay, my solution to not breaking a fin off is to not have fins anymore. The ultimate the play. solving. Problem solving at its best level right there. Pemtech King Kraken I-180. It's probably going to fly funny. Yeah. When it goes fast, it likes to corkscrew. Yeah, it's fun. So we'll see how that goes. Also, I can never remember if the delay is too long or too short when I do it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I did 10 on the I-357 and it was too long. Yeah. So that's got 8. I think you asked Taylor, you could go back and find it. Yeah, I think Taylor recommended it and then that was wrong. But this time he recommended 8. And I was like, that's what I was thinking too, so let's... It's a hard thing to simulate. Yeah. There are sim files for it. Yeah. And they're funky looking because it's just like 9 fins for each tube fin for the shape. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so we're just going to see what happens, and hopefully the parachute comes out, and it's fine. Oh, yeah, I'm going to put the chute release in it. All the way out for Boise, great to see you flying with here. That's a really beautiful rocket out there. It's, it's flying on, and the name of the rocket is King Croken on an I-180. And let's see, he's got a chute release 500 feet. Sign up at E6. E6, got continuity, sky's perfect, really pretty rocket going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, ladies and gentlemen, very short, very simple video for you, but there you go. The, the fat boy flew, um, unfortunately had a tragic little incident there. And another successful flight of the Kraken, except for the chute release put the chute out all the way at the top, but it still landed like less than a quarter mile away right behind us, so I'm not mad at that at all. Don't forget, we have double Argus merch for sale right now at rocketvlogs.com. If you want to help out getting that thing off the ground, it is flying here in a few weeks, and 
really any merch sales are going to go into gas and transporting the thing to Argonia. Um, we already had the motors and everything situated, but it is just cool merch and it's only going to be available until the end of August, so please go check it out. In the meantime, we're getting very close to 20,000 subscribers. Don't forget, if we hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of this calendar year, I'm going to give away a 7.5 inch lock Patriot that is a level 3 sized rocket, so hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. My name is Brayden, you just watched a Rocket Vlogs video, and I'll see you next time.